Now, uh, pre algebra, okay, we have to learn some abstract concepts. Sometimes sounds trivial, but if we understand those concepts well enough, we're not going to make mistakes in the computation. So I just recall uh, the definition of so called negative number. We usually denote a number by uh, a letter, x. We're not going to use a specific uh, number for to talk about. Okay? We're trying to talk about more general. Okay? So I hope some of you understand the concept. What is a negative number? The negative number uh, we're going to denote by minus x. Okay? This, there's only one number in the world when the, okay, when the when we add it to x, you get zero, okay? So, uh, so, so negative two is a number, when it's added to two, you get zero, that's it. That's a, that, that. First of all, we have addition, so-called, right? Add the two numbers together, how to add them together. Then, so we have a concept of number. Now let's talk about the negative numbers, right? So, uh, well, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between numbers, Okay, and points on the coordinate uh, on the number line. Okay, so called number line, we're going to have a, a yeah, so called number line, we have a, a, a strict line with a direction, and then we first of all have to uh, find out where the origin, right? And the one is a unit, one unit. Okay, then you mark it, so you get all those integers. Now the integers on the left hand side, you have to put, we put a negative sign here, okay? So actually uh, the negative number corresponds to the point on the left hand side, okay? And, uh, and the positive numbers are the numbers on the right hand side. When we say numbers, remember that not always, first thing you come to your mind is always in so-called integers, like one, two, three, those are the integers. Numbers could be, Ration numbers could be irrational numbers. In the very soon, we're going to study what is called square root of two. Now, which is the irrational number, okay? And so those are the numbers. And uh, then uh, we are going to uh, learn uh, a so-called subtraction. Well, you know, you learn the subtraction earlier, right? When, when, you're, when you're little, you already, you know, how to do the subtraction, right? And then I taught my kids, you know, subtraction the following, use a number line first, you know, you have to get like a three, three minus two, the white's one, right? So first of all, you go to write three steps, minus two means you have to go backward. So you land it to here, so that is a number, you know, that is a point corresponding to the number, corresponding solution, which should be one, okay? So when you, uh, uh, that's the way we can easily figure out all the subtractions. When you, when you minus two, you have to go backward, okay? And, uh, and uh, a number is always go forward from the origin and the gap. Then you can always get, and even you can do some uh, uh, subtractions quickly, like four minus uh, five, right? Four minus five, then you, you get a negative number, you know, right? And the wow, you know, right? But it's easy to, do the problem. Some teachers will show you, hey, switch the order first because the second number is large, then you put a negative sign. But uh, on the number line, you can easily understand the, the, the difference, you know, one, two, three, four, five, uh, four is here, right? You go to the right four steps, then you backward, one, two, three, four, five, five, you land it, you land it to negative one, so the answer will be negative one. Okay, so that's about basic subtraction. Now, how does the, the mathematician define the subtraction? So look at the definition, let's try and understand, okay? We already, uh, we already introduced the concept of negative number, negative B, okay? So negative B is a number which added to B is gonna be zero. So A minus B really is means as addition, okay? We define the addition first, that's right. It's not easy to, 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 to understand the concept because animals probably don't know how to do additions. They never introduce the concept addition. Human beings different from animals, regular animals. So we, we introduce a concept 
addition. Then step by step, we introduce the con concept of negative number. Then, then you can have subtraction, okay? So A minus B is A plus a negative B, okay? That's it, very simple. So that's the difference, okay? We call it the, yeah, it's called the difference between A and B, okay? A, A minus B is defined as this addition. So, so like a 13, okay, here's a question, right? 13 minus nine, right? 13 minus nine, so really means 13. Let's do, yeah, let's follow the, the definition to this, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this competition. 14 minus nine means 14, uh, 13 minus nine means 13 plus nine, okay? Plus negative nine, okay? Negative is some number, okay? By, def by definition, okay? Then 13 can be separated to the sum of the two numbers. We only have addition right now, okay? Just go back to thousand years ago. I right? think about that. You only don't have the addition. Some genius guy introduced a negative number. Then another guy, you know, maybe a couple hundred years later, then, the, then another guy introduced the concept of minus, okay? Uh, subtraction. So, so first of all, 13 is going to be 4 plus 9, okay? This is addition. And then we have a 19, right? So addition, and then first of all, you put, 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 put the inside the parenthesis. But we know that for addition, the Lewis says that it's a, you know, a, a associative. So it doesn't matter which two numbers add them together. So you can say nine plus negative nine. But nine plus negative nine by definition. What is negative nine? Negative nine is a number, and the two nine should be zero. Okay, fine, fine, it's a zero. And then four plus zero is gonna be zero, okay? So that is how, uh, how do we get a competence answer? So, well, that's really, you know, maybe you think, oh, that's stupid, I know, 13 minus nine, blah, 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 you, I, you know, that's what, the, you know, when I was a child, you know, I, I use a sticks, you know, right? When I first grade, you have a 19, uh, you have a 13 sticks, and you cross them, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then you cross uh, 19, uh, cross nine of them to see how many left. That's how do you, another way to understand subtraction, right? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Then you find out, okay, four left, right? Those are four left. So, so that's the answer for. That's another way people understand the subtraction. But here in mathematics, we have to have a uniform kind of way to define the subtraction. Subtraction is defined by addition, okay? Clear, okay? And uh, now let's take a look at the next one. We have some numbers and uh, we have some numbers, eight to six is, is gonna be 15. And then what is? X, like what is that number? Now, of course, you have a nine, right? So how do we do that? You know, there's a correct way to solve the problem. What do we do is uh, we, we, we subtract six, we subtract six from both sides, okay? Yeah, we subtract the six from both sides. And, uh, and there's, you know, subtracting means we add a negative six to the both side, okay? Add a negative six, we kill this six on the left-hand side. So, so the result you will see is just looks like, a, okay, 15 minus six. And it looks like you move the number six to the right-hand side and change the sign. Sometimes teacher will tell you that, okay? Change the sign because you move them. But, but actually what we, what we did here, we, we add a negative number to both sides or we subtract six from both sides the same, okay? Then, 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 okay, 15 minus six, how did you subtract it, okay? Use, <laughs> use, uh, use that the strange uh, process above, and this can be several steps here. But now you can use a, a very uh, simple method you learn, you know, right? You just put, you know, 15 apples there, you, you eight, six, and nine left, okay? But, but if you really want to use a abstract mathematics to prove 15 minus six, then you have to do like that. 15 is going to be, you know, it's going to be nine plus six, okay? And this is addition, you know, right? 
and then you regroup them six plus negative six and that is going to be zero and then that's going to be nine and that is a that's a, that is a computation strictly follows uh, the definition and actually this is idea could be used in many more complicated math problems like de decompose a number into uh, some of two numbers then you re you know this is a very good technique we use it like zero is going to be a minus a you know something like that okay and uh, and when you do the simplification this technique we learn we can we should learn that to solve more complicated problems all right all right so let's take a look at uh the following question you know it's different from the uh, addition. Remember, addition, we have a commutative rules, right? A plus B equals B plus A. Okay, that's fine. We know that, right? We recall. However, however, in, uh, in for subtraction, A minus B is not going to be B minus A. Okay, and this is a, a, this is a place we will make mistakes sometimes. So to prove something is not true in general, what do we do? Find a kind of example. Find a kind of example. So let's find a kind of example. You know, when you say something's good, right? Oh, is this guy's good person. How do you prove that? You have to prove that every day he's good. He's doing good thing. But one day you find out he committed a crime and he's a better guy. You don't trust, right? So same here. All right, so you pick up examples. You let A to be just a random number, you know, a five, you know, B, is going to be, you know, going to be two. So for example, right? Then you say a minus b is a five minus two, which is three. And however, b minus a is two minus five. And uh, we do the kicker, you know, we should learn how to make a negative, right? So, so it's two plus negative five, and this will be negative, negative three. So they are, they are different actually, okay? So now then you say, okay, I find out it's only differ by sign, right? Only differ by sign. So maybe you can conclude that A minus B equals negative B minus A. So that was only different and differ by negative sign. Okay, that differ by negative sign. Okay. Right, so that different by next time. Maybe you discover another, you know, this is a, yeah, this, we're going to go back to this general formula. Okay, wait. okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Find the numbers A, B, C, you know, so that this two are not equal, okay? So what does that mean? Now, well, recall that we have A plus B plus C, right? Is going to be A plus B plus C. You know, subtraction is defined using addition, but a, uh, a minus B minus C, and this, this actually minus is really A to negative C. So if you think uh, minus like addition, then, uh, then you probably will make mistakes, okay? So minus is not like addition, okay? So actually what we have here is A minus B minus C, okay, is going to be, uh, if you view it as like addition, use the origin definition, then you will not make a mistake because A plus negative B, okay? Plus negative C, now then you can move around, okay? Then you can move around A plus, okay? Negative B plus negative C, okay? Then, that's okay because we have a committed associate rule here okay, for the addition. Then you can you can remove this parenthesis, just simply write negative B, negative C. That's okay. Now that's a totally different from the from the above. Okay. 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 Later on, we will also can take a negative sign out. We can learn that. Okay. Yeah, let's uh uh So please, yeah, if you have a, a questions, answers, do not, yeah, talk to everybody, okay? So that's annoying, okay? So let's take a look at the next one. Okay, those are the, we have to practice. You know, what, how do you, you know, 
how do you get rid of the uh, privacy? Now then you you probably have to learn some uh, some rules, right? So negative. Remember, here's a yeah. There are a couple ways to solve this problem. If we we are going to learn a formula for the product, okay? So I using the following fact: negative x is going to be negative one times x, okay? Using that, then you get negative one x, okay? Plus here's negative y, okay? This then you have the formula. Remember, a b plus c is going to be a b plus a c, okay? That formula we have, okay? Using that, then uh, do the multiplication. Then you have a negative one times negative y, right? Then this part is negative x. And here, there's a trick here because uh, this is going to be, you know, negative one times negative y. How do you see it's y? It's negative one, but negative y is negative one times y. So then negative, negative one becomes positive, okay? So that's why, how do we get, okay? So, so this is how do we get the form identity. You remove the parentheses. Now in the future, we can speed up the computation. Whenever you see negative sign, negative itself, a sign has no number here, but you can view the negative sign as negative one, okay? So uh, actually what you're doing is that when you multiply this out, negative and negative becomes positive, really means you're doing negative one times uh, negative one then becomes positive one. Okay, so, but the, if you want to see the details, you will go through all the steps here. Sounds trivial, but, uh, but very often many, st some st students will forget this changes the sign, change it to the positive one. You, you know, sometimes you just take it a negative sign. So that's a common mistakes I usually see, okay? The common mistakes I usually see, Mike, you don't type message to everybody. All right. All right, so let's take a look at this. And now you can do quickly. I say, I'm gonna say negative X, negative Y, okay? Because negative, in negative itself cannot do the multiplication, but you can think about like that, negative times X, okay, negative. Negative times plus, right? <laughs> you know, negative plus become negative. Okay, you can think about that. Then you can quickly put a negative sign here. But in reality is uh, actually what's behind that, you know, we have, to, when we do computation, we have to follow the rules, okay? So we have to say this is negative one and the X plus Y. So this is a product, okay? A number times the sum of other two numbers. Then you can apply the above rules plus negative one times Y, okay? Then you remove uh, using the above fact, yeah, then you simply plus a negative y, then plus negative by definition is going to be minus y. Okay, so that's the hopes of all the steps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, every time you move on to the next step, you have to check any rules we can apply. You know, you cannot do the illegal steps. You go to the next step. You have to make sure every step is, you know, follow the rules then you will never make mistakes. But, but after you practice enough, you can quickly write on lines, okay? Negative X, negative Y, okay? Because negative, you know, in front of X, there's no positive sign here, but negative means positive. Negative positive means negative. Negative, negative, positive means negative. So that's why you go, yeah. Okay, so now we do have uh, for the subtraction, so we can have a similar multiplication uh, dis uh, uh, distribution rule here, okay? The reason we have this is because it's follow from, uh, remember, right? A, B plus C is gonna be A, B plus B, C, okay? Now, how do we see the other one is correct, okay? So A, okay? And uh, B minus C is really means B plus negative C, okay? Then you can apply the, the, this associate rules. So it's AB times A times negative C, okay? Then uh, 
What is negative C? Negative C is going to be negative one times C. That's we're using another fact here, right? We already did that. Negative one times C is negative C, okay? What is negative C? Negative C is the number which added to C zero. So that is just a notation, just like a name. Negative C is just like a name, like Alex, okay? It's combined together with two symbols here. One is letter, one is symbol, okay? Negative C is just a, a, a number with the two symbols there, okay? That's the concept. So now, so now you have a product of three numbers. So then I have a b, a times uh, negative, right? You know, you can doesn't matter which one is the first. You can remove the parentheses. Then you can uh, uh, change. Uh, you can plus negative, right? And the a c, for example, you can move around and put the parentheses there. And that one is just minus. So a b minus AC, okay? By definition, A the negative, you know, okay, actually plus, sorry, I did know one more step. One more step. I don't want to skip every step. It sounds trivial, but we do need that to learn this kind of proof, okay? So that would become plus, plus negative AC, okay? <clears throat> And now it's negative AC, right? And uh, and uh, I still can put a plus again, but this is a parenthesis it runs. This is a product, negative one times AC. And this is a negative AC. AC is another number, okay? Then you have AB minus AC. That's the definition of the subtraction. All right, now let's do some problems, okay? If X minus Y equals nine, what is Y minus X? Oops. <laughs> That's true, right? Uh, how do you prove that, right? X minus Y equals nine, and what is the Y minus X? Okay. Well, uh, Y minus negative nine, of course. The uh, question, how do you make sense? How do you say that? How do you prove that? Why it's negative, right? Why it's going to be negative, okay? So Y minus X is a Y, okay? plus okay, negative one times x, right? Uh, plus negative x, so it's negative one times x. I'm going to show you step by step. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be negative x, okay? And then it's a y. Uh, and actually, uh, yeah, y is going to be, you have to show the following thing. y is going to be, uh, negative one times negative y, okay? And then plus negative one times x. Then you have a negative one out multiplication, okay? Then you can switch the order because it's commutative, okay? Then you have what the inside is can be written as y minus x, x minus y. And then I get a negative one times x minus y is nine. That's why it's been negative nine. Negative one times y is uh, 10 times nine is negative nine. By definition. Okay, what is negative nine, right? But we're, we always use identity. Negative one times a number is going to be negative x. Okay, negative x on the right side is a one, it's not, okay, it's, it's just uh, something. It's a negative number, okay? It's a negative of x. So these two pieces cannot be separate, just one. On the left-hand side, it's a product of two things, right? Negative one times x, that's a different concept, okay? Negative nine is one single number. Negative one times nine is a product of two numbers. All right, All right so now, uh, let's try, yeah, let's, after I understand that, let's do some problems. Okay, let's do some problems. Okay, so we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, uh, the subtraction. Okay, this is a, uh, it's a, yeah, so many terms there. From one to all the way to 93, you have 93 terms, 93 terms. Okay, for the first parenthesis. 
in the first prime vessel. Okay. Now, uh, the most uh, uh, important thing is we can move around the terms. Let's recall some formulas, right? So if we have a, if we have a, a plus B, okay, minus C plus D, okay, how do we do that? No, okay. We remove the parenthesis A plus B, okay, that's okay, that's no problem. Plus, okay, actually, this is a, actually is a plus negative C plus negative D, okay. So for addition, you can freely move around. If it's not addition, be careful. So what you do is A plus negative C and here B plus negative D, okay. So you can always have a, here's A minus C, and this is a, a B minus D, okay? So that, that works well. So using this idea, then, then the solution here, 1901 plus 1902, and keep it going, okay? You will, uh, you can group this two together, one nine, okay, minus 101 plus, so the last term is 1993 minus 193, okay? Then you, you do the computation for each, uh, for the numbers in each pair, and you will see that one, uh, uh, 1,800 uh, 1, for each, okay? So that is going to be 1,800 um, 1, uh, plus 1,800 and how many, of, how many of them? Uh, you're going to have, uh, uh, let me move this problem yeah, down a little bit, okay? So you will get Okay, you got a, uh, you just do the multiplication times, you have a 93 there, okay? You have 93 there. Then you multiply this out and you get an answer, okay? So you have to regroup, you have to regroup uh, the numbers in order to quickly do the computation. So it's, okay, that's just true. But then when you regroup them, be careful about about the signs, okay, especially involves a negative sign and the removes the parenthesis. And uh, that is not a, uh, you know, that's, that's a place easily making mistakes, okay? So Daniel and Michael, okay, you did a great job. Uh, okay, so I'm going to ask you to work on this problem. Look at, uh, you have to apply some some form, some formulas here, right? You have A, B minus C, we already know that it's A, B minus A, C, we already proved that, right? And uh, you can also have a B, C times A is gonna be B, A plus C, A, for example, a minus C, yeah. So it depends on which number you put on the right hand or left hand side, okay? For this problem, you look at that, you notice that that was a nine, uh, uh, and you see those two are identical, right? So first of all, by the commutative uh, commutative rule for product, right? You 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 uh, you change the order, right? Then. Using the uh, using this formula, you take 1990 out, okay, and then you do the subtraction inside inside the parentheses. So 1991 minus 1989 is just two, right? Then you do the simple computation as uh, the multiplication. 1990 times times two, right? So it's going to be 3,980, and that is a, that is a, yeah.
correct answers. All right. So, so when you see uh, after we suppose we're familiar all those, uh, you know, uh, multiplication, subtraction, mm -hmm. addition, and we trying to, uh, uh, yeah, if we're given problem to simplify to compute, it, you need it to don't just to do the multiplication right away and do the subtraction. Then that takes too much time. You have to regroup the numbers. Sometimes you have to take the common fact out of that. Then you compute it. Then you will uh, uh, simplify your computation. Okay, simplify the computation. Now here's a here's a uh, here's another problem. It's a story problem. Okay, the sum of the first uh, ten thousand positive even numbers is how much more than the sum of the first ten thousand positive odd numbers? How much more? So you are going to uh, uh, you are going to take the difference, okay? So you write down the first positive even numbers. Well, you cannot write down all of them. And uh, 10,000 means, so what is the last one? I think the last one, you know, how do we express the other number? Other number is always expressed two times K, okay? That's, uh, this is an even number, okay? Okay, so that was two, uh, 10,000 means the last one is uh, should be two times 10,000, okay? So for uh, two is, uh, yeah, the last one will be, you know, 20,000, okay? So then then you, sub this, you subtract the other numbers, the sum of those other numbers. So one times a plus three plus five. Now, how do you list the last one? That's the problem, right? So other numbers can always express in the form even number minus one, right? So it means uh, the last one will be subtract, yeah, subtract one from the even number, right? So like four is a, four is a, you know, four is a, a three is a four minus one. So after you regroup them, okay, you always get two minus one plus four minus three, the plus six minus five, and so on. And the last one is actually, uh, uh, you can write it, you know, 20,000 minus, right? And, uh, and the 20,000 minus one, with the number smaller than that. You know, do you want to write down this? It's, if you really want to write down, uh, this is uh, going to be, uh, something like that, okay? And this is a, a subtract, okay? So the difference is always equal one, okay? The difference is always equal one. So it's always one plus one plus one, always plus one. And then you have a, uh, right? Then you have a 10,000 there. So the answer would be 10,000, okay? The answer would be 10,000. So, so you have to regroup them to find out, uh, uh, you know, uh, some, I don't know. Yeah, so you will see you get, always get the same difference if you regroup them, two minus one, four minus three, six minus five, lined up, you know, lined up, okay? Then, uh, then, uh, uh, then you will get uh, the same number in, in each subtraction. Then you multiply by the total number. Yeah, you multiply. But other number, even number, how do you add? So in general, other number, even number is uh, is always uh, written as two times one, two times two, two times, you know, in general, two times 100, and keep it going. And the even, uh, uh, this is even number. Other number is two times one minus one, two times two minus one, two times 100 minus one, okay? So the, this is how do we express even numbers, other numbers. Okay, then it's easy to count. The first 100 even numbers will be, and yeah, the last number will be 200 because two times 200. The first 100 other numbers, that'll be 200 minus one, 199. Right, 199. Right, that's how do we express other numbers, even numbers. And uh, 
and those two, um, okay? So now we're talking about reciprocal. This is a new concept, reciprocal. Reciprocal, okay? By definition, just like uh, uh, before we do talking about the division, uh, reciprocal is a number when you multiply it to the given number should be equal to one, okay? So reciprocal uh, is a number, some mystery number, okay? Such that the product, its product with the original number is gonna be one, okay? So the reciprocal, the reciprocal three is denoted by one, one number three, okay? And sometimes you call it one third. Okay, it's one over three. So one over three uh, times three doesn't matter. It's commutative. Three times one over three is going to be one. Okay, and uh, and uh, this is not a, a trivial concept. One over three is a number. Its product with three is going to be one. Okay, it takes it took a while for human being to to end, to to introduce a concept a reciprocal of the numbers. Okay, so here's a question. What is the reciprocal of one half, as a product of one half and, uh, and the two? Because one half is the reciprocal of two. So by definition, um, that's gonna be one, right? That's by, by definition, right? not a computer, just by definition. Now reciprocal of one half, right? What does that mean? Reciprocal of one half, uh, look at this product, right? But this can be also written as two times, two times one half, okay? So there's a number, uh, when it's multiplied, uh, you know, the product with one half is one. So by definition, this implies two is the reciprocal of one half because two, that's a unique number, such that the product was one half is one, right? So when we say reciprocal of one half, we it's denoted, yeah, reciprocal one half is denoted by, because one half is x, so it's one over this, okay? So, so it's going to be two. In other words, yeah, we already find out two is a, so those two numbers should be the same. So two should be equal to the reciprocal of one half. All right, the reciprocal of one half. All right, now, then we're talking about the product reciprocal. Reciprocal is the two numbers. All right, uh, the, uh, the reciprocal, yeah, the product reciprocal, this is a formula, sounds trivial, right? But, uh, but uh, how, do you, how do you see that? Well, look at the example, okay? The product of, the product of, uh, of, uh, of those four numbers, okay? This is a product of two reciprocals, right? And this is a five times seven. So let's do the multiplication. I'm going to, we have to prove that this is equal to one. And how do you see that? Well, that's easy, right? So it's gonna be five times uh, because we can always remove the parenthesis because for the product we have a so-called associated root. So it's a five times one of fifth times seven times one of seven. Then you put it inside the parenthesis. And then it's gonna be one by definition, one times one, that's really one. Now by definition, okay, by definition, uh, by definition is a reciprocal of uh, what I should say. The reciprocal of five times seven. Okay, yeah, this is the same as one of five times one of seven times five times seven. So by definition, you can tell, claim that the reciprocal of five times seven is going to be the number of this product of these two now two reciprocals. Okay, clear. Yeah, that just follows the definition. All right, so now we introduce a division. Okay, how do you divide, introduce a division in mathematics? <laughs> division is just a product 
Okay, a times a divided by b is a times the reciprocal of b. That's it. A times the reciprocal of b. Okay, that's the definition. So, so six divided by two is going to be six times one over two. All right. That's not the way. That's not the way we we learn division, right? Six times two. Everybody knows that. So divided by two is going to be three. But uh, in mathematics, six. Uh, six divided by two is actually six multiplied by one half. Okay, and then uh, then you have to say, and then how can I say it's so a six is a two times three times two, right? Then I have a three times two times one half, and by definition of the reciprocal, this should be equal to one. So three times one, that's equal to three. If you really have to go through all the steps to get three, then those are the steps. And though every step we 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 have to follow the rules, you know, okay, in order to move on to the next step. Okay, after you practice enough, you you will memorize those rules, you will not go wrong step, then you get the right answer. Okay. All right, so x divided by reciprocal of y. X divided by reciprocal y is x times uh, the reciprocal of one over y. By definition, yeah, we already know this is going to be y, okay? So that's why it's going to be x times y. Now, let me show you why this is uh, true, okay? The uh, y times one over y okay, is going to be one over y times y, and that's by definition the one. So in other words, the so reciprocal of one over y is the y. I.e., the reciprocal of one over y is y. Okay. Okay, so now we take a look at uh, some rules as commutative rules, we hope. The state division is similar to the subtraction that we don't have the so-called commutative rules, uh, uh, social rules, okay? So, so remember, you know, uh, yeah, A, uh, yeah, remember A times B is gonna be B times A, right? The product, right? But, uh, but the division is different, okay? A times B, A divided by B is not gonna be B divided by A, okay? So A, times b is b times a. However, a divided by b is not going to be divided by a, that's it, okay? And uh, we also have a times b times c. You can freely use an, and the b times c here, by, by, but this is not going to be a divided by b divided by c, okay? You cannot, this is not true, it's a totally different, okay? And you can find a uh, kind of example. Uh, let's look at the example, right? So, uh, uh, eight divided by four is gonna be two. Okay, this is not equal to four divided by eight. Okay, actually four divided by eight is gonna be reciprocal of two, okay? So uh, yeah, you can, you can, we can prove that, but I'm not sure this right now. So anyway, those two are, the division cannot just, you can freely change that, okay? You cannot freely change the, uh, the order, okay? And the same, uh, but, but, you know, those multiplication rules is true, you know? We have a, uh, we have a, uh, yeah, by the way, A, remember, right? A times B plus C equals A times B plus B times C, but, a divided by B plus C is not going to be, is not going to be A divided by B plus A divided by C, okay? And that uh, happens to some even college students that make mistakes uh, when that is a competition. We say, whoa, where did you learn the math, right? So this is not true, okay? This is not true. But, okay, A plus B times C, D, uh, times C is going to be AC plus BC. So for this one, I can change the product to the division. 
Okay, then that's still true. And that is still true, surprised, right? That is still true. Okay, so there's so many different rules. You have to understand why this is true, you know, why this is not true. Okay, why this is not true. Okay, so because basically this is a, a, a this is a, you know, the reciprocal B plus C is not going to be, basically the reciprocal B plus C is not going to be, is not going to be this. Okay, this is a, just because that reason. Otherwise, it's still true. Okay, you can find a kind of example of that. You can find a kind of example to this. Okay, they're not equal. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's find some examples. Okay. Let's find some examples. Well, we can uh, let A to be eight, okay? B is going to be, uh, let's say B is going to be two, C is going to be four, okay? Let's try this, okay? So eight, two plus uh, eight, yeah. Eight divided by, you know, two plus four is going to be eight divided by six. And you can simplify it. It's eight multiplied by one over six. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I skip some steps, but you, you can simplify to four over three. Okay. Four, um, uh, four times, four times, uh, we're not getting the fraction here, four times one third. four times one third. The question, yeah, you can think about this. However, uh, uh, a, uh, eight divided by two is gonna be four, right? And eight divided by four is gonna be two. So add them together, that's going to be, that's gonna be four plus two is gonna be six, okay? So clearly, those two are not equal. They're not equal at all. Okay, they're not equal. So, yeah, those are the examples. Okay, those are the examples. So be careful. We have to be familiar with this kind of rules. All right, let's do some exercise. Now uh, we don't have much time left. So when you do this, right, we use the rules uh, because A plus B divided by C can have A divided by C. C plus B divided by C. For division, you can have this, as long as C is on the other side, right-hand side. Using that, the above one is going to be seven, 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 divided by seven, plus seven, seven, zero, seven, seven, divided by seven, okay? Then, then you can easily solve the problem. All right, then you add them together. Uh, here's a five. I have to one, two, three. I have to add them together. This is five, right? So one, one, uh, one, 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 and then two, two, zero, two, two. See? And apply the above rules and you can quickly add them together. Otherwise, it's difficult. Okay, so uh, let's try. Let's try this one. I wanted to do that. Okay, right. two, 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 two is equal to the product. So this is a given, okay? Right? Given two, 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 two is gonna be the product of three, seven, or three, seven times six. Given this, I want you to find out. Uh, I want you to find out uh, three, seven, uh, yeah, 37,037 times 27. Okay. Any of you? Oh, Mike. Okay, Daniel. Also have the answers. Cool.
10. So the trick is, uh, first of all, 27, right? 27, you see from, yeah, from this identity, right? So 37037 times 27. 27 is three times nine. So as long as you can figure out this part, then you're done, right? But from here, we are not given this actually, we are given indirectly. So six is three times two. So that's why you have to divide by two, but two, 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 two divided by two is easy to get. One, 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 right? So that's why it's gonna be nine, 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 nine. Cool. Okay, so that's how do we quickly solve the problem. All right, so now I'm going to ask you to simplify this. I already mentioned uh, some rules have to follow. Be careful when you when you when you simplify. Okay, when you get an answer, please show to me. I'll give you one minute. Yeah, this is a problem usually. Yeah, students make mistakes when you're trying to simplify. Even college students always make such kind of mistakes in the competition. Okay. I'm waiting for a couple more answers. Michael answers, I think it's correct. He gave me already. Okay. <sighs> Anyone? Please hurry up. No, uh, Jensen, you haven't simplified yet. You still have a parenthesis there and a capital A and B, and that's all that. Right. See, this is a problem right here. We have a Okay, so let me show you, okay? First of all, let's work on the inside parenthesis, okay? A minus B minus C. So remove the parenthesis inside here. So it's minus B, negative, negative becomes positive, okay? So here, I just remove the parenthesis A minus B minus C. Okay. Then I'm going to move, uh, get rid of the parenthesis. The first side is A minus B plus C, no problem, just remove it. But here, when you move it, be careful. Negative A is negative A. Negative, negative becomes positive. Negative, negative becomes positive. Okay. Now, there is no, there is no, uh, uh, yeah. If you move around, okay, you have to remember negative A means here is a plus negative A. So when you move an A, you cannot just move to the front. You have to move the negative A to the front because minus a means plus negative. Only when you view this addition, you can move all the terms around. This is a plus negative b, okay? So let me use a red pen, okay? Plus negative b, here minus a, okay? Then you can move around. So I want to move negative a to, to the front, okay? And, uh, and uh, I, I move negative b to the back side. Okay, so uh, I move negative B to the back side. Then I keep C here. Then I will see that this is a zero. This is a C, this is C. That's a zero, this C. So what is left is two C. Okay, what is left is two C. Right? Yeah, 
So only when you see, remember, A plus B can be B plus A. You can move around, okay? You can switch the order freely. But A minus B is not gonna be B minus A. You cannot just, okay, you cannot. But A minus B is gonna be A plus negative B. You can switch the order, okay? Then you can write, okay, I'm going to remove the parentheses just negatively, and that's okay. You know, a minus B is B minus. You have to, yeah, when you move the term, B is associated, negative sign is associated with B, you cannot separate. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the next problem. This problem, let me show to you, okay? So one minus three, five minus two. So you have to, all I have to do is regroup it, okay? And, uh, and the five minus seven, and uh, it's, uh, uh, let's see, how many terms here do we have, right? You know, you can, uh, you can group uh, the other two, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It depends on how many terms here. Now, if then, in this case, you have to deal with always the negative numbers, okay? Nine minus 11, and the keep it going. Then 21 minus 23 and the plus 25. But then every time you get a negative number, so it's not the bad idea, it's, uh, not a good idea. So you can do like this, negative three plus five and negative seven plus nine. And then negative 11 plus 13, just keep it going. The last term is negative 23 plus 25. Then every time you get two, 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 okay? The only problem is you have to count how many twos that. How many two is that? Okay. Right. Uh, well, for th we, since we don't have so many terms, so I can count it directly. One, two, three, four, five, six. But if we have so many terms, uh, then you get, you have to find another way to count it. Okay. Right. You have to find another way to count it. Okay. Right. So here's, a, here's another problem. Okay, so this is uh, Alex adds up all the even integers from two to the two for 500. Inclusive means 500 is included. Okay, Eric adds up all the integers, uh, uh, all the integers uh, from one to 250 inclusive. What is uh, Alex's sum divided by, Eric, uh, divided by Eric's sum? So that means we have to figure it out uh, divided by one plus two plus three, all the way to 250. Okay. All right, I got so many different answers here. Yeah. I hope. One more, I'm waiting for you guys. Hi. Bing. All right, Jason gave me the answer. Great, so to do that, you will see every term here, our even number is one times, two, you know, four is two times two. So 500 is a two times 250, okay, divide by, one plus two plus three, all the way to 250. I really don't need to know uh, what is sum of one plus two plus three, all the way to 200. So I can take the common factor out. Okay. And you will see twice of the number divided by that number is clearly is gonna be two, right? You don't need to uh, uh, waste the time. So because it's a reciprocal, this number, you know, 2a divided by a is going to be, right by definition, 2a times 1 over a. And that is going to be 2 times a times 1 over a. And then by definition, reciprocal is the second way is 1, so it's 2. Okay. So that's how do we solve the problem. Okay. Uh, uh, so I stop here and uh, there are lots of exercise there. I wish you finish most of them.
then we uh, your problem solving skill will be improved step by step. Right? 